After finishing the live performance, MJ is about to leave the set, but then she sees a news where Spider-Man is battling Fraser, who is flying a device that has a bomb attached to it. And according to the reporter, this fight is not going well. The villain is threatening to set it off unless the city gave in million bucks. So MJ quickly leaves the building and she arrives into a bar to watch the news. Spidey has managed to deactivate the bomb and also disarm Tracer. But then, Iron Man shows up, but instead of helping Spidey, he begins to attack him. He gets hit directly in the back, and before Peter can balance himself, Iron Man grabs him by the throat, and it seems the villain Fraser has somehow taken control of Tony's armor, and he begins to choke him. But then, the TV cameras cut away. MJ is getting worried about her husband, but as she about to leave the bar, one of her crazy fans, Johnny, shows up. He wants to buy MJ a drink, but she refuses the offer and tells him to go home. And this drives him mad. He grabs MJ's hand and keeps pressuring her to let him buy a drink. The bartender tries to stop him, but then Johnny pulls a gun and gives a warning shot to stay away from them. But right at the time, MJ takes the opportunity and takes him out with a pull cue. After some time, MJ returns to the Stark Tower. She is talking with Peter, who managed to defeat Fraser and save the city. But it seems MJ is upset. She feels like she is living in a box. Other girls can talk to their friends about their lovers or husbands, get each other's opinions. But she can't tell anyone about her husband because it is a big secret, like loving an alcoholic or a wife beater. Except there is organizations to help with those and she had no one. And then they came here in the Stark Tower. MJ thought she finally had the people to talk to to help her. But it turns out no one is interested. She also noticed Peter was acting carelessly during the fight. He could have died. But now she finally figures it out why Peter is doing this. It is Survivor Gate. It is not just that Peter let the burglar go and then he killed Uncle Ben. It is that the good caring man was died while the selfish uncaring man Peter was left. She always found it funny that Peter ran out of webbing at the worst times and she wondered why not building an indicator sign to warn him about the web fluid. Why risk running out ever again? But now she realized, deep down, Peter wants to be with his uncle. He just keeps pressuring his luck, pushing himself more, getting sloppier. He wants to be with his dead uncle more than his own wife. Because deep down, Peter thinks that he doesn't deserve happiness or life or love or MJ. He just wants to die and MJ doesn't know how to live with that. But Peter says it is not true. And for proof, he shows her the letter that he get from the doctor. And it shows Peter's condition is not looking good. In fact, something terribly wrong happening with him and Peter doesn't know what to do about it. So which part you like the most? Please share them on the comment section down below and please like this video and do subscribe as this will motivate me to make more contents. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.